so beloved mother, you know us so well, Louise, the holiness and love. Teach us to raise our minds and hearts often to the Trinity and to fix thereon our respectful and loving attention. Since you journey with us on the path of eternal life, do not be a stranger to the frail pilgrims your charity is willing to show. Turn your merciful gaze towards us, draw us into your brilliance, shower us with your kindness, lead us into light and into love, lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave the thought of God, but let each minute take us further into the depths of the august mysteries, until the day when our souls, fully blessed by the light of divine union, will see all things in eternal love and unity. Approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Lord is risen. Hallelujah. Because of his affliction, my servant shall see the light in fullness of days. Alleluia. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the fool? O oh, send forth your light and your truth, let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, 
the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the heart. O God, my God. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still. My Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and is to come, now and forever. Amen. Because of his affliction, my servant shall see the light in fullness of days. Hallelujah. Awake, O sleeper, and rise from the dead. Alleluia. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy. For in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge. Till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May He send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. May God send His truth and His love. My soul lies down among lions, who devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and their their tongue is sharp and sore. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps. My soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God. My heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul. Awake, lyre and heart. I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Among the nations I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O oh God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and is to come, now and forever. Amen. Awake, O sleeper, and rise from the dead. Hallelujah. Stand erect and hold your heads high. Hallelujah. My heart exalts in the Lord, my horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies, I rejoice in my victory. There is no holy one like the Lord, there is no rock like our God. Speak boastfully no longer, nor let arrogance issue from your mouth. For an all-knowing God is the Lord, a God who judges deeds. The bows of the mighty are broken, while a tottering girl on strength. The wealth had hired themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten unspoiled. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. 
The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles, he also exalts. He raises the needy from the dust. From the ash he be lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he has set the world upon them. He will guard the footsteps of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall perish in the darkness. For not by strength does man prevail, the Lord's foes shall be shattered. The Most High in heaven thunders. The Lord judges the ends of the earth. Now may he give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Lord, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and is to come, now and forever. Amen. Stand erect and hold your heads high. Alleluia. He has showed me the holy Jerusalem, having the glory of God. Hallelujah! The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king city, God in the midst of its citadels, has shown himself its stronghold. For the kings assembled together, together they advanced. They saw at once they were astounded, dismay they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there. Like the pangs of birth, by the east wind you have destroyed the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O oh God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled, Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgment. Walk through Zion, walk all round it. Count the number of its towers, review all its ramparts, examine its castles. That you may tell the next generation that such is our God, our God forever and always. It is He who leads us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and is to come, now and forever. Amen. He showed me the holy Jerusalem, having the glory of God. Hallelujah. the letter to the Romans. If Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, while the Spirit lives because of justice. If the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, then he who raised Jesus from the dead 
will bring your mortal bodies to life also through his spirit dwelling in you. Mode one. He promised of old that he would save that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the <clears throat> oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. To worship him without fear, who in righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of them, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and is to come, now and forever. Amen. Eon as in mundo noce omnes Bodies on his eos, hallelujah. In no mine bodies, et fili, et spiritus sancti, hallelujah. 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May your Spirit, O Lord, we pray, imbue us powerfully with spiritual gifts, that he may give us a mind pleasing to you, and graciously conform us to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> and with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church, we reflect the Father's light by revealing to us the mystery of the Word, the eternal fruit of His bosom, source of all life and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon His heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, Thus, becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, and our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Agapetus, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit Paraclete, in Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother. Regina Celi, Letare, Alleluia. Quia vemeruisti portare, Alleluia. Resurrexit, sicut dixit, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia. Gaudet letare, Virgo Maria, Alleluia. Jesus exit Dominus Vere, Alleluia. Orimus, Deus qui per resurrezione in fili tui, Domini nostri, Iesu Christi, mundum letificare dignatus es, presta quesumus, ut per eus genitrice in Virgine Maria, perpetue capiamus gaudie vite, per eudem Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen.